Hello, Magic Smoothie Edit Pro users. This is Dave. And I just figured out something very interesting you might want to know. I wanted to do video level curves, but I wasn't able to figure out how to do it by looking in the instructions. You probably remember we did audio volume curves earlier in another video, and if you didn't see that, just click on the card up in the upper right hand corner to see more on audio volume curves. But we're talking about video level curves today. I'll just show you what we found out on the audio really quickly. So if we want to affect an audio curve, we could just unlink the audio from the video with this unlink key here, the ungroup, and you can control the audio volume by just bringing the points up and down, and the trick was you had to be in this mouse mode right here, which is called curve, instead of the normal mouse mode, so that's how you would do it. Now if we go and click on the video object, it's a different story. And here we have video levels or video transparency. And there's also handles in here that you can use to control that. Like you can fade the video in and out here and that just controls the level of the video at the end so it fades out when you're coming in, going out. See the fade? And you can also control the overall level of the video. In other words, the transparency. So if you had transparency you could make this video overlay over another one or fade in like this. So you could do all that, but how do you change this into a curve? If you go to the curves mouse mode like this and try to click on it, nothing happens. You don't get these little markers down like you get in the uh, audio down here. So how do we do it? Stay tuned and I'll show you how. So here's the trick to doing the video levels curve or video transparency curve. And it's a little bit convoluted, so just bear with me. I didn't find any hotkey to do this. I think it's 9 on the keyboard to do the audio volume curve. But this is different. So we already know we have these handles here, but they don't do us any good as far as making a curve. They're a separate item altogether. So how do we make the curve? Well, what we have to do is first highlight the video track we want to do. So I'm just highlighting it like that. Then we go into effects. And I've got a little tip for you here in effects. This is a bonus. If you don't like these big tiles, you can pull down this drop down and check list view like that. And now you can see all the items are much smaller. Now what we want to be is under video effects right here. And you might have to toggle this arrow so you can see them all and then come down to chroma key and highlight that. Then in here in the dialog for the chroma key, scroll down to video level. Now let's just go ahead and change this video level a little bit, just like that. And uh, let me see, maybe I can do it without it. So we want to be in video level and we want to set a keyframe. So we just go ahead and click that. Now when we set a keyframe, it brings up this little bar down here with a picture of our keyframe and you know how this works from past videos you can just move this marker along and it's linked to this marker down here they're the same thing so I'm at the beginning there's my keyframe but don't worry about the keyframe because we're gonna go ahead and click this little eye right here that says activates curve view and that's the whole trick you click that eye and it activates the curve view now you can come down here and click on this and make your little points, your little nodes, so that you can adjust the levels in various places instead of just on the ends. So that's how it's done. And why would you want to do this? Well, I think it's just one of those things that uh, you might want to do to be creative in your videos. So this is how I did that trick at the beginning of the video where I had alternating text on the left and the right and the crowd fading in and out revealing my desktop underneath it. So I have two text objects here and one video object of the crowd. And you can see how I use the video level to draw a curve so that one text was on while the other was off and it goes back and forth. Then on the video, you can see the curve for that. The video's on for a while, then semi-fades out, and then comes back on and semi-fades out again. So it reveals the video that would be above it, which will be my Magic's Movie Edit Pro screen. 
So that's how that was done. Okay, a couple of things I didn't mention about the video level curve controls are that besides the eye, which turns the video level curve off and on right here, you can also affect the roundness of it. This one right here, it changes the interpolation to give the curve a more smooth look. So that's on and off like that. Nice and smooth that way. And this one over here just changes the color of the curve. Like if I wanted a green curve, that would give me green. Notice it changed all of the curves. So I go back to white. They all go back to white. You can still use the fade in and fade out, but they're not connected. You see how I made a node here? So the video level is separate from the fades, and it's separate from the overall transparency. So those are two different things. So there you go. I hope that's helpful. And if you like this, if this was helpful, you want to see more content, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notify checkbox so that you'll be notified in your email when I put up more content. Okay, thanks for watching.